Okay, so what if I told you that with one pair of headphones, you could play games with your friends on your PS5, listen to YouTube music on your browser, listen to another set of friends on Discord, and play games on your PS5 all at the same time. Okay, yo, what's up, everybody? <laughs> all right, dude. Okay. Got a lot going on here. Okay. Okay, maybe not all at the same time. Okay, but you get the point. You don't have to switch headphones depending on whether you're playing on your PS5 or your PC, and you don't have to buy any expensive products like the Go XLR or the Astro Mix Amp. Oh, and did I mention? This works for both wired and wireless headphones. So let me show you exactly what you need to do and how this works. So how exactly does this work? Well, it's actually quite simple. Instead of plugging in your headphones to the PS5 and hearing audio and talking to your friends that way, what you do instead is that you plug your PS5 into your PC and that way all the audio is split up and you plug your headphones into your PC and that way you can actually control all the audio going to all your friends in the game party chat. You can control what you hear on your PC and you can also hear everything on your PS5 as well, all with one pair of headphones. So how do you get all this done? Well, first thing you need to do is head on over to Amazon and buy a product from Ugreen that acts like headphones by splitting the line in from the line out. Then you need to get two aux cables and plug in each one onto each end of this device. If you're wondering what these other two cables are in between the aux cable and the USB device, these are basically grounders. These are so that you don't have any type of static interference in your headphones or your mic. So these are really, really recommended to get because if you don't get these, then you might hear some type of buzzing or hissing sound in your headphones or in your mic for your friends to hear. So really recommend that you guys buy these products. Then you plug the green side aux cable into the line in on the back of the PC which is typically marked as blue. And for the other side, which is red, which is typically marked for the mic, you plug that side into the line out on the back of your PC, which would typically be marked as green. In case you're a little confused, I'm gonna leave a little diagram here so you can see exactly what you need to do. Next, which should go without saying, you should plug your headphones into the PC. If you have USB headphones, plug those in. If you have wired headphones, find another port on your PC to plug those in. And doesn't matter whether it's wireless or not, these will work. So next thing you wanna do is head on over to your PC and download Voice Meter Banana. I'm gonna leave a link to this program in the description down below. But don't worry guys, this is completely free. Everything that I talk about in this video is free except for the hardware, of course. To download it, you just go to the webpage that I linked in the description and click on install. After you get that downloaded, you should have something like this show up on your PC. But before we can do any type of customization here, head on over to the bottom right hand corner of your PC desktop screen and click on the little icon that shows your volume. You're gonna right click it and click on sounds. It's gonna show up a little menu here and click on playback and scroll all the way down and you should see voice meter input. Click on that and make sure you have this set as default. Next thing you do is right click it as well, click on properties and then click on advanced and you should see a little drop down here. Make sure this is set to 48,000 Hertz. If you don't have this set to 48,000 Hertz, you're gonna have some type of crackling sound in your headphones and you do not want this. Then head over to the recording section and click on that, scroll all the way down and you're gonna wanna make voice meter output as the default, okay? Then you're gonna wanna do the same exact thing, right click, go to properties, go to advanced, and make sure this is also set to 48,000 Hertz. And the last thing we want to do before we do anything on the voice meter application is go back over to the voice meter website and click on virtual audio cable. Once again, I will have this linked in the description down below. Then you just want to download the file for windows and make sure once you have this downloaded and you have it extracted to your PC, which should have a folder just like this, Make sure you find the VB cable underscore setup underscore X64. Right click that and run this as administrator. If you don't do this, it will not work. 
So make sure run it as an administrator. And what that does is that it allows us to have a virtual audio device, which we're not going to use right now, but we're going to get to that later. So if you're not familiar with what voice meter banana is, it's basically a software that allows you to split up different audios and allows you to control everything individually. Don't worry, most of the stuff that you see here, you won't even need to use. So don't get too intimidated by the look of this. It is actually very simple to use. For the first column, this is where we're gonna put our microphone. To set up our mic, just go ahead and click on microphone and you're gonna see there's gonna be a lot of different options here. You're gonna see WDM, KS, and MME. For this video, we're only gonna be using WDM. This is just basically different audio drivers that you have for your specific product. We're just gonna use WDM, so do not use any of the other options that you see below. So just go over and find whatever microphone you're currently using. For me, I use my Blue Yeti, so I'm gonna click on that. And as you can see, right off the bat, you should see audio levels being registered from your mic. In the next section, we're gonna use this for our PS5. So to find your PS5, just click on this general area and look for the WDM line in. This is gonna be the cable that we plugged in earlier that went into the line in on the back of our system. And if you wanna rename these items, just right click the lettering at the top and just edit it as you please. Now this section, I have it set up as Discord, but we're gonna to get to this last because this requires us to use the uh, virtual audio input. What we're gonna do now is set up the different types of outputs. So for A1, this is where we're gonna put our output device. So this could be like our headphones, our speakers, or actually both. As you can see right now, I have two different audio outputs set for this specific system. I have my speakers at the A1, so I would just click on A1, find my Logitech G560 gaming speakers, this is the main speakers that I use. And then I would use my headphones as the A2. So I just go over to A2, look for my headphones, which would be the headset earphone Astro Mix Amp Pro Voice. And I click on that. For A3, this is where you're gonna need to put the default speakers for your PC. This is gonna be the line out going to your PS5. And this is also gonna be what people hear when you are talking to your party chat on your PS5. So it should normally say Realtek something speakers. For me, it says Astro A40 headphones. So that's the one I choose. So now just to recap, I have my microphone in this column. I have my PS5 set up in this column and I have my A1 set to my gaming speakers and A2 as my headphones and A3, this is what's going to the mic input on my headphones. Now, as you can see in the mic section, you can see my audio levels going off, but for the PS5, you do not see this going off. Why is that? So let's head on over to the PS5 menu and let me show you what you need to do. So now you're on your PS5, you need to go to the settings tab, which is in the top right corner, go over to sound and for microphone, make sure the input device is USB headset. And also for the audio output, make sure this is set to USB headset as well. Okay, so if you look in the mic section, we see that the audio level is actually getting picked up. But if we go over to the PS5 and we go where we could adjust the microphone, you're gonna see that it's not getting picked up at all. Normally, if you're talking right now, it should be getting picked up. So let's go over back to the desktop. And how do we connect our microphone here to the microphone on our headset? Well, it's as simple as connecting it. So how do you connect it? Just click on A3. A3 connects your microphone to the microphone jack on your headphones. So if we go back over to the PS5 now, we will see that it is now being registered and our mic is connected. So now everybody can hear everything that we say in our microphone. Now let's say we wanna hear ourselves in our headphones. Well, you can do that by connecting your microphone to your headphones. So you just click on A2. It's as simple as that. So now you can hear yourself in your headphones by clicking on A2. And if you wanna hear yourself on your speakers, which I do not recommend, click on A1 and that's gonna go to your speakers that you have set up. Now this is the same store for the PS5 section. Right now we are not hearing any audio on our PS5. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to send this audio to either our speaker system, which is A1, or our headphones, which is A2. Since we wanna hear it in our headphones, let's click on A2. 
if you want to be really annoying, you could actually send it to your microphone, which your friends are going to hear, which is going to get really annoying. So don't do that. But yes, that is an option if you really want to. So now that we got the, our mic set up and our PS5 set up, now let's go over to the section over here, which is I have it labeled as PC audio. And that's exactly what this is going to be. So this has everything to do with anything you do on your PC. If you open up a browser and you're listening to YouTube, everything of that sort is going to go right here. So how do you actually want to listen to this? You could either listen to this using your gaming speakers, which in my case will be a one or your headphones, which will be a two. I have it both set up that way. If I'm using my headphones, I could hear it there or I could hear it on my speakers if I want to as well, but I could deactivate and re-enable anything as I please. Now, what about for Discord? We haven't talked about Discord yet, and we haven't talked about the virtual audio cable, but let's do that right now. Now, in this third section here, this is actually another hardware input. Now, Discord is not a hardware, it is actually software. So in order to be able to hear Discord, we need that virtual audio cable, which converts one of our hardware inputs into a virtual input. So just go over to the top section and click on WDM cable output. Okay, we're gonna use that. Then open up Discord on your system and go over to user settings, click on voice and video. And for input device, we're gonna use our microphone of choice. And for output device, we're gonna use cable input okay this is going to be rerouted to the voice meter and that way we can control everything from there then from here we get to choose where we want to hear discord do we want to hear it on our headphones or our speakers all you have to do is just select it and that's it if you want your friends to hear everything that's going on on discord you could select a3 remember a3 is everything that's going to your microphone thus your party chat basically one last thing we need to do is change our volume controls if you have a volume button on your keyboard you're going to notice that it doesn't work this no longer works all right but there's a way to get it connected so just go over to menu go over to shortcut key uh in parentheses hook and you're gonna do hook volume keys for level output a one all right this is going to allow you to change the volume on your speaker system or whatever you have set for a one and guys that is basically it in a nutshell there is so much you could do with voice meter banana but for anyone that's trying to listen to audio from your ps5 and your pc at the same time this is the way to go if you guys are wondering this is exactly how i run it on my system so you can go ahead and copy these settings if you want assuming that you have speakers as a one headphones as a two then this will definitely work for you well guys that sums up today's video let me know if you guys have any questions whatsoever or any problems in getting all this stuff fixed up for your system i know it was a little bit tricky but we got through it and hopefully you guys have a beautiful setup where you're able to do multiple things with just one pair of headphones if you are a streamer yes this works for you guys but there is a couple more steps you have to do i will make a separate video for you guys so do not worry but this will definitely solve any issues you might have with streaming from the ps5 and it's gonna cost you basically next to nothing once again if you guys have any questions whatsoever let me know in the comment section down below and you also could ask me any question you guys might have whenever i stream on wednesdays but with that said my name is matthew thank you guys so much for watching but as always, peace out.